Hey everybody, Steve from the Pinball Room. Quick video today um, about a new stair climbing dolly that I just bought from Glenn over at Pinball Place out in Minnesota, I believe. He had posted up some things on Facebook over the last couple of weeks, uh, right prior to Expo, I think, um, going through and showing out this new dolly. Um, it's cheaper than the Escalera. It looks intriguing. It's one of the ones with, like, with the tank treads. Anyway, um, uh, some of my buddies and I, we were all like, hey, should we get one of those? We had a couple of questions, not sure exactly how easy it's gonna be to get some pinball machines actually on it, et cetera, from the ground. Anyway, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna unbox it, and uh, we're gonna give it a try. All right, here's a view of what's in the box once I opened it. It's like, try to hold it steady. These are the tank treads, it looks like. And then the bubble wrap. Oh, those look like those are those are spare tank treads. We still got tank treads on this one, ready to go. That's good to know. All right, let's pull it out. locking pins and then this comes up put the locking pin back in The seat belt, I'm just going to get rid of because that's just stupid, in my opinion. actually tried a similar um, a similar item uh, just a couple weeks ago off of Amazon there was one had these same tank treads and it went for about uh, went for about a thousand dollars it was only rated up to 150 pounds though so I figured I mean it's not really enough for a pinball machine right <laughs> but I ordered it had a return policy I ordered it tried it out just to see in general with the concept, see how well it worked. Um, my 13 year old son, I pulled him up and down the stairs a couple times. He was only about 110 pounds. And overall, I actually really liked it. I thought it was a kind of a nice concept. So it was just a matter of trying to find one that's heavy duty enough. This one I believe is rated up for, uh, the ones I've been seeing are either 440 or maybe even Glenn said 500 pounds, but should be good enough even for like a heavy JJP pinball machine. The biggest issue I think most of us were having when we looked at this and asked Glenn about this was, how do you get the pinball machine onto this platform here? It's uh, these casters, it's a good four inches up. And 
we hadn't seen any videos on how to do that. And I asked him and he said, well, basically he goes through and he lifts up the pinball machine about three to four inches first by like tilting it back and putting like some towels underneath it. So we kind of add a little bit of a uh, of pipe off the floor and then kind of tilts it and slides it all on. Um, I'm not sure how well I like that concept just because I mean, we've got, I guess there's brakes for these big tires here on the back. But it still is kind of sliding around on those other ones. I feel like this has to be pretty, pretty solidly in place before I want to be trying to like slide the pinball machine up on top of that. Plus, I'm worried about the bottom, the back getting a little bit scratched. I don't know. Um, Glenn says that he's working with the manufacturer to go through and build kind of a custom nylon plate or cover that'll sit on this. So there's not these gaps and make it, I guess, perhaps smoother and easier to slide the pinball machine on it. Um, that's an interesting, interesting idea. The biggest thing though, is just like this angle. The one I tried for a thousand dollars didn't have caskets here on the bottom. It only had the ones on the corner for tilting it. So you couldn't have it upright and wheel it around like this one does, which is nice for like going around like, you know, curved or the corners on stairs, landings on stairs. This might be helpful there. Um, but it made it to where it was just like a regular dolly. You just like slide right under the lip and get it loaded really easily. But when I tried it, the motor for that smaller one, I mean, it's rated for 150 pounds. As soon as I tried to put a pinball machine on and start going up, I could just tell the motor was like not happy with that. And so I quickly abandoned that, thanked the company, sent it back, said it wasn't quite what I needed, got my refund. And now we're, now we're looking at this guy. So, I mean, it looks good enough. I don't know if you guys have seen these ones before, but they've got, a battery that gets charged and runs down to this motor down here at the bottom that runs these angles for these tank treads and you can get about two to three um, stairs at a time which is nice let's see how's this one open yeah so you squeeze that bar and you get a couple different positions i believe i heard that the the biggest gap should be for lighter weight. If you're doing a really heavy one, they want you to keep it a little bit closer in. But let's say you've got a pinball machine on this over here, right? And you're bringing it around, you come up to your stairs, you tilt it until the stair, and the stair needs to be about 10 inches away, they say. So the stair's right there. And then you turn this one on. Let's see here. All right. So. I haven't charged this first, and it looks like the battery is pretty dead the way it came to me. So the handle telescope quite a bit, and the concept here is that once you get the pinball machine in place, that you tilt this forward, you'd be on the stairs at this point, and then these buttons here is where you know power turn it on, and then you should up the stairs and down the stairs. So if you're going up, you push and hold this, and this, the treads start to go, and you walk yourself up to the top of the stairs. And once you get up there and pass it enough, then you're able to go through and tilt it back upright and push it flat on the dolly. All right, so we're going to let it charge for a minute, and then we'll play around with some more. All right, we're back, and I've got uh, my getaway here on end, and we're going to see what it takes to actually get this thing up on the, up on the platform, all right? Now I do have the back casters here locked, but even so it still can kind of move around on the other wheels a little bit too. So I don't know, we'll see.
Okay, I mean, that wasn't too horrible. I mean, it's, it's on the platform pretty solid. All right, and then from there, I mean, I would go through and strap around the frame of this with another tie down, right? Just like on a refrigerator dolly or something. Is that too tight for me to lift this now? <laughs> so that's highest setting there. So I mean now we can roll it around like Glenn was talking about. It rolls pretty good. Pinballs adding a little bit of weight to the front there, but I mean it's moving around pretty good. Yeah. And then I don't have stairs right here nearby. Um, easily access but uh, I mean that's all it takes and then from there you get up to your stairs Ugh. come on once you tip it a certain amount then it like hits the treads and then it's not moving forward or backwards until you activate it. And then you get to the top of the stairs and you lower it back down on top of the casters. Yeah. And then we get it off. And turn that off. Lock the casters again. That's what I recommend. There you go. I mean, <sighs> it comes right down. All right, yeah, so um, let's see, last couple of comments. What else should you know about it? Um, so it's retailing, I think Glenn has it listed for 1,700, something like that. So cheaper than a Scalera, but I mean, it's still a, a chunk of change, that's for sure. Um, if you're not gonna be moving a lot of pinball machines around, uh, maybe you can go in on one with like your local league and you can all split the cost and share it, I, I don't know. That's an option for you. I think he's got a little bit of a discount for, uh, for operators. The last thing I guess I'd say, there's just there's no instructions to come with it right now. He's still working on getting that up. It's kind of like the guinea pig beta, beta tester. It's got a, a key here, which controls turning the machine on and off, and then also controls whether or not the battery stays locked in place or not. Um, it works good. I mean, it locks the, the thing in place, if I can figure it out again. There we go. 
You have to kind of wiggle it up and down in place a little bit to get it to the right spot, but yeah, all in all, I mean, I like that there's an extra set of treads included. That's nice. They seem fairly heavy duty. Definitely they're more beefy than the cheaper one that I tried earlier, and that one's working fine on my stairs already, so I don't expect to have any problems with this one at all. Um, yeah, my biggest concern was just getting the machine, pinball machine on and off of the base plate of this dolly, and I, I actually worked, worked better than I thought it would, so I'm pleased with it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll put a link down below uh, to Glenn at Pinball Place where you can get it, and yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.